Hello everyone. So I'm just going to do a real quick segment here. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing rubber gloves just for safety when I'm handling a dead animal. Here I have a mole cricket. Um, I just wanted to take the time to show you this fascinating yet um, notorious animal for being a pest. This is the infamous mole cricket, Jerusalem mole cricket. And uh, yeah, very rather large cricket. <laughs> See here. The specimen is dead, unfortunately, or to the farmer, fortunately. Now what I really wanted to show you about this animal, I'm just trying to be fragile, is the upper body here. Mole crickets are designed for burrowing. If you look closely, you will notice that its front forearms are very, very interesting in appearance and give it an alien-like look. Take a look at that. Pretty crazy. It looks like a bear claw or bear paw or something like that. So mole crickets, here you can see his eyes, his pedipalps, and from here you can see the mandibles right there. They kind of Anyway, the animal's dead, but I'm trying to have a bit of respect for its body. Mole crickets use their front arms here to dig through the soil and dig little tunnels where they'll dig under plants and eat the roots. So they're a very large pest here, and often gardeners and such will spray pesticides to kill them. So they end up coming out of the soil because they're stressed and intoxicated by the pesticide. And this is what happened in this one. This is just a dead mole cricket I found in a garden. So I wanted to show you because it's a very interesting insect. Like, look at the anatomy. The uh, the thorax and head are very, oops, are very elegant and smooth. That probably assists in uh, just kind of pushing to smoothen out the tunnel and passage it goes through. And the rest of the body here is very narrow and slender. And if even one put entirely together, uh, like this, fits behind the thorax, like carapace, like part. So just this probably just follows along through the channel as it digs along and moves through. Uh, these guys are pretty interesting diet-wise. They will consume other insects. Often, if they run into a worm or small other insects, they will consume them. So they're not. They are not strict carnivores, or sorry, they are not strict herbivores. They do not only consume roots, but they will also, they will not hesitate to eat, uh, they will not hesitate to eat other animals, and mostly invertebrates. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to take the time to show you this pretty cool insect. So, thanks for taking a look, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. Just kidding. <laughs>